The next condition we are investigating is bicipital tendinopathy, which is an overuse injury to the tendon of the long head of the biceps brachii. This condition is rarely seen in isolation and often occurs concurrently with other shoulder injuries, such as rotator cuff pathologies, labral tears in the shoulder, or shoulder instability for some, due to some other reason. The most common symptoms uh, reported by clients are a deep throbbing ache at the front of the shoulder, usually exacerbated by pushing or pulling overhead. Pain may refer down the arm to the deltoid insertion and occasionally all the way down the arm through the radial distribution. The palpatory exam provides the most accurate assessment of bicipital tendinopathy. In this position with the athlete supine, the elbow bend, and if we have the forearm bend and the hand resting on the hip, this brings the bicipital tendon directly uh, anterior for easy access. I've just grabbed the hand so I can rotate the arm if I need to to help me palpate the bicipital groove accurately. I'm going to take the flat of my thumb. I could use two fingers, but for me it's more comfortable to just let my thumb rest across the bicipital groove and I can feel it moving underneath my thumb as I move the arm. So the palpatory exam, once we locate the bicipital groove, is just light transverse friction across the groove. Tenderness here would indicate some pathology on the tendon, and we are looking for the most tender spot on the tendon. You may sometimes feel snapping, which would indicate that the tendon has uh, come out of the bicipital groove because the transverse ligament has uh, been torn or torn away. Is that tender on you at all, Sammy? A little bit. A little bit. Okay. For the palpatory exam, we can either move the thumb back and forth across the bicipital groove, or we can place the thumb directly across the, this part of the humerus and rotate the arm to move the bicipital groove under the contact. This is deep transverse friction for bicipital tendinopathy. We position the athlete in the same way that we positioned her for palpatory exam. Uh, now what we are doing is looking for the most tender spot on the tendon to apply the deep transverse friction work. So. Once again, we're gonna palpate for the bicipital groove, and now we're looking for the most tender spot on the tendon. And once we find that, we just maintain our pressure, sort of moderate, and then rotate the arm back and forth in order to provide that friction work across the grain of the tendon. We'll do this for about a minute. Notice that it's slow and pressure maintained in both directions. At the end of about a minute, we're expecting to see a decrease in pain. That doesn't always occur, but in any case, uh, the first treatment is no more than 60 seconds. Subsequent treatments will increase the time by two to three minutes, then maybe four minutes. And that's deep transverse friction for the bicipital tendon. If you liked this video and you want to see more, make sure to subscribe below and don't forget to hit the notification button.